my name is Arno Lopcha. I'm from South Africa. Uh, we, uh, I'm from, uh, I've got a company called Scientific Fly. We develop hooks and flies for the um, South African market exporting to Europe. It's called uh, grip hooks. And we just developed the barbless bonefish hook. The fly, the fly I'm going to tie today is a, a minnow pattern of, with a wool brush that's used for general saltwater fishing. You can tie it in various colors in, um, uh, for, for saltwater. We've, we've tied it for bass, we've tied it for tigerfish, all sorts of different species. And it's very simple. The materials you need is, is slinky fiber. Uh, this specific one will be white. Slinky fiber, you, we use uh, flash. I prefer UV flash. Uh, you can use flashaboo. I personally like angel hair and a wool brush, which is, which is generally mixed. You know, it's, 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 it's white with a little bit of color in it. Uh, you can mix white and tan. This one is white and tan. We mix white and red. We mix black and red and all sorts of color just to break the color a little bit. Uh, it's very simple. Fly, we use a thick thread. You cover, as usual, cover the, the, the hook shank with thread. To the back and build up a little ball of thread right at the back. This is just to get, get the fiber to stand in the right direction. A very important tool when you use slinky fiber or, or pretty much any fiber is a, is, a little, is a little brush or a pet grooming brush works well. Just take the fibers and, and brush it out. It will puff it up a little bit, get all the loose fibers out. And then just select a bunch of that stuff like that tie that on the hook it, it, it's a small fly but, and, and there's quite a bit of wastage um, it's generally when you trim it you trim it a lot smaller than than than, than what it what it actually is on the um, what it looked like before you trim it it's, there's a lot of material that you cut away just tie it in with a few tight wraps and squeeze on it so it rolls around the hook to the front and the back. Tighten it down with a few wraps of thread and trim the, the excess. At this point to take some uh, uh, flash, I like the UV, the angel hair or any fine flash, it just gives it a much better effect. Just take the tips and and, and just uneven, just pull them so they're a bit uneven and just tie that on top, same length as the first bunch of slinky fiber. If there's anything left, you can just fold that over to the sides so it goes around the sides of it and tie that down. And we don't worry about the, the, the length of the material at the back. You can always, we're going to cut from that away anyway. Um, always, while you tie it, just brush it. You can, to, to, to mix the fibers and the, and the flash. The next step is to turn the fly around. Tighten the vise a little bit there. And do exactly the same. Take the excess that you cut off and do the same on the inside. But before I do that, I'm just going to add some flash on that side as well. And it's always important to tie the flash on both sides of the hook. I take the bunch, make sure you've got the right length, split it, take a needle, split that, tie some on this side, some on the other side. Pull that down and just tie that down with a few more wraps. Um, the extra flash you can just tease out with a dubbing needle again. Whatever is loose and you don't want will come off. And then just fold that over to the sides and tie that in. It's a very easy and simple fly. You take the, the slinky fiber that's brushed out, put that on top of the hook and push it down so that you've got equal amounts 
on either side of the hook. Tie that down. And squeeze the top so it runs around the hook. And just take the brush and, and brush that out to mix the flash and the Add a few wraps to that and cut the excess. You can tie a shorter bunch in now. This will be the second last bunch to tie in. Shorter bunch and you want that to lift up a little bit so you don't tie it on top of the previous one, you tie it in front of the previous bunch. Wrap that in properly. Cut the excess off and secure the tips. Select some, a bunch of flash. Pull the tips out and tie that on top of the of the hook. It doesn't look that neat at the moment, but it will look a lot better after it's been trimmed. Take the extra slinky fiber put that on the top slide it down on the sides and tie that down and make sure the sides of the fly is covered and to roll it around the, the hook shank good enough and cut the excess this way around and then secure the, the, the ends now when you trim the fly it's best to tie the thread off and it's easier to trim it at this point rather than later tie the thread off. Before you trim it, it's very important that you brush it out properly, just to make sure, especially when you have two colors in the fly. You can tie it with two colors by tying the, the fibers on top of the hook in one color and below the hook in another Can you color. And, <laughs> and try the, um, just brush it out so that the, all the fibers are loose and it fluffs up properly. The, important thing is when you trim this fly you use a pair of scissors with a long blade and trim it first look at the length that you want the fly in and it should be about double the length of the hook and you can just trim it straight up so you know that the length of the fly is is right and it's important to get some some reference lines when you trim it first the one that I always use is in line with the hook you trim it from the hook bend towards towards the the, 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 the the level of the hook shank and then on top just trim it parallel to the hook shank and then brush it out the whole idea is to get the tail of the fly to stand up a little bit keep on brushing it out all the time that's that's very important you can take it out at this point and trim it from the back to the front. You'll see how it fluffs out every time you brush it. Trim it from the back to the hook bend. Some stuff out there, out of the way. And you can hold it to just to trim those fibers at the back. It's quite important that you get that angle right. And at the top, you can trim from the back up towards the the first the, 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 the fibers that you trimmed the first fibers from the from the uh, uh, eye the tips of the first fibers of the eye from the eye trim that off on the sides make sure it's you get the right shape from the top and keep on brushing it 
and just trim that excess a little bit to get the shape right. You want a diamond diamond shape. If you look at it from the top or from the sides, you want a diamond shape. Turn the fly around again and put it in the vise. And now take a, a wool brush. You can use all sorts of brushes, fine, fine materials. I use wool brushes. Um, so if, if they're flat, quite often when you buy them, they're flat because of the packet they're in. Just take the, the brush and tease the, the hair out to one side. You need to start the thread again. And go right to the back. And tie the brush in right at the back. Move the, wrap the thread forward to the eye of the hook and then when you tie the brush just pull the hair the fibers to one side and wrap them around and after each wrap take the, the small brush and brush the hair back And the wraps must be tight and neck right against each other. It's the last wrap. This is where we'll tie it off. Tight wrap. Take a few wraps to secure that. Roll them off the scissors. Take a, take a pair of wire cutters to cut that. And just secure the, the brush in the front with a few tight wraps. Make sure you be sure to pull all the fibers back when you do that. And whip finish. Cut that off. And now before you trim the brush, brush it out properly. Just make sure it is all brushed out. That's very important. And we're gonna I normally take a a dubbing needle or any sort of needle, push it in right next to the hook shank and split the hair of the brush. Just make sure that there's a, then pull the, the top half up to the top and push the bottom half down. Do the same on the other side. And now you trim Get the tail together, we will trim the tail a little bit more. The reference line from here is to the tip of the short fibers in, of the tail. Right from the back to there. And you turn that around and you trim from here to the bend of the hook. And now you can brush everything together again. Flatten that out. But you need to flat to, 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 to trim the sides a little bit more to get a flatter profile of the fly. You trim that. And from the front to the back, not from the back to the front. As you will get an uneven finish between the, 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 fiber, the, 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 the wool head and the, the slinky fiber. You can trim the top a little, always a little bit higher on the top and clean the gape on the hook a little bit more. Don't worry about closing the gape because the material is very soft, so you won't close the gape on this fly. You can now trim too little where the eyes are going, two little gaps on the sides where you, where you want to stick the eyes, and I normally use thin stick-on eyes, small, quite small stick-on eyes.
put a little bit of epoxy or, or five minute epoxy works well or any any type of glue that can help to hold them in there a little bit on the sides that in there and you can decide what color eyes you want in that but these are pull and they're quite small and just stick the eyes in put them in place and push them down with something right against the hook shank Do the other side, put the eye on and stick it down. Press it quite, you can press quite hard to make sure it sits there. In place. Now, once this is dry you can, you can trim it a little bit further. Just to neaten it up a little bit. Take the brush and brush it out every now and then. Okay, the important thing is with, with this fly is to trim it the right way and, and um, you want the the tail to be to, to point up a little bit and trim the head so it so it's it almost marry the material marries with a with a with a slinky slinky fiber.